today's video, I have six age-defying outfit formulas that you can recreate using items from your own closet. Netta, welcome to my channel. My whole goal for this channel is to help you build a wardrobe and a style that you love. So you look beautiful, you feel confident every single day. Now talking about building a wardrobe, I do have an ageless style program. We are starting up another round, but it is really a self-paced program where you can jump in and jump off whenever you need to because life happens, let's face it, and that support will always be there for you when you come back. So uh, if you are looking for a guided and creative and inspiring and fun way to work on your style in the nicest small community of, of like-minded women, then definitely check out my style program. It is, I, I've now had like over a thousand students and um, one of the things that has struck me the most is not only the the style changes that these women have made but also that really we have become a community so if that's something that sounds interesting to you definitely check the link also pop it up on the screen but we're talking today about building I, you know everything I talk about is about building a wardrobe and I always want us to look our best and I just did a whole video and a whole rant about why age appropriate or dressing your age is not the answer. So I wanted to show you what it looks like um, to create outfit formulas that are age defying. These are outfit formulas that were inspired by my trip to Europe. They're not exact copies or dupes of, of the things that I saw in Europe, but they are um, classic with a twist. They're cool, they're modern, and they defy age. These are outfits that you can wear if you're 40, if you're 60, if you're 80. They are that, um, that universal, um, and, and you may want to make a couple of little tweaks to each of these outfits to make them A, you, and B, more flattering, suit your coloring, suit your body type, suit your um, your proportions, but um, these outfit formulas will work for every woman at every age. A version of these is going to work for every woman at every age. So these are age-defying outfits. And so I really want to, to do more age-defying outfits for you guys so you can see what, what it can look like to use many of the pieces that you may already have in your wardrobe to create outfits that will transcend um, your, your transcend trends, transcend transcend age that you're going to be able to wear for years to come and still feel confident and polished and cool in. Yes, are there modern references in these outfits that speak to 2023? Yes, but these outfit formulas are going to be timeless. Okay, so let's get into them. I'm trying to keep my videos less than six hours long, and so I'm going to make this a quick one. This first outfit formula I feel like is is a little French, a little a little American, a little modern, a little just it just it just kind of cool. Um, it, this includes that that marinier striped tee. I believe this one is from Cezanne, but it can be any striped tee that you have. Um, I love that you know this has. A, I'm, I'm trying to transition some of these outfit formulas to go from you know late summer into fall. If you're experiencing fall where you're at, if you are, you're lucky. Still 100 degrees here, um, but it's a striped tee worn with a pair of wide leg jeans and a medium wash. A cool pair of sneakers. I like these slightly retro style Nike sneakers. They remind me of something I wore in the 80s. Um, so cool pair of sneakers. Of course, you could do flats instead. A lot of a lot of um, women have, have said that jeans and sneakers can be a, a tricky look to pull off. I feel like if the sneakers are cool and the jeans are cool, they don't look like a basic jeans and sneakers look like, right? This is not a basic jeans, sneakers, and a t-shirt look because each of these pieces is very intentional. So love the jeans and sneakers together in this look. Um, striped top, got a little pair of hoop earrings, got a neutral black crossbody bag, and then... Um, the, the piece that ties it all together, in my opinion, is a basic camel trench coat. If you don't have a trench coat like this in your wardrobe, I highly recommend getting one. I was just on the Old Navy website. Old Navy has a waterproof trench coat. I think a waterproof trench coat with a removable hood is an essential for everybody, but also the iconic classic camel trench. Stop thinking of it as a coat and start thinking of it as a completer piece. A jacket that you can throw on over, over outfits that's going to tie them together, that's going to bring that really elegant um, 
timeless old luxury look into any outfit. You can put a camel trench coat over any outfit and it instantly elevates it, makes it look really, really chic. The key is to make sure that your waist is defined underneath a longer jacket or a longer coat like this. So you wanna make sure that you've got, um, and, and you're gonna have a, a defined waist in this outfit because you've got a shirt that hits at the waist. You can either tuck it in, you can do a little front tuck, or if it hits you at the right spot at the waist, you can just leave it out. But as long as you've got waist definition on in your outfit, you can wear a longer layer like a trench coat without it looking shapeless and unflattering. So love this outfit combination using the trench coat as a completer piece. All of these pieces are going to be linked below in the, in the description box. All of these outfits are going to be linked below. And of course, I have a catalog like I do for every one of my outfits. Okay, the next outfit formula is um, based around a black midi dress or sundress. Now, this is a piece that if you've got a neutral, it can be black or navy or chocolate or whatever for you. If you've got a neutral sundress or neutral sleeveless dress that you've been wearing this summer, you can transition it to fall by throwing on a little jacket over it. Um, it can be a little moto jacket in cotton or linen or suede or leather. It can be um, any any, you know, it could be a crop blazer, it could be a denim jacket if you like denim jackets, but throwing on a, a, a jacket can take a piece like this that looks very summery in this version and this outfit and make it work for fall. You could also layer it under a cool cardigan. You can even wear a cool cropped cardigan, um, like a, a waist length cardigan buttoned up as a sweater and kind of wear this as a skirt or, and tank. It, it'll look like a skirt and tank when you've got a cardigan buttoned up over the top of it. But this dress, I love this dress. This is from Reformation. It's a very simple square neck sundress um, with a flowy black skirt. I just recently read something that men love sundresses. I don't know if that's true or not, but they are so feminine and so romantic and um, very, very flattering this style on, on many women. Um, I loved that that I, as I talked about in one of my videos, European women can buy neutrals a lot, so you don't have to do a black bag just because you're doing a black dress. I've got a brown bag with this. I've got a, a, a beautiful straw hat to protect your face from the sun and also to add style. Often when it's 150 degrees out, we don't know how to complete our outfits. Sunglasses and a hat are the way to do it. If you add a hat and you add sunglasses, your outfits are gonna instantly look polished. And then I've got the, the cool Maguire ballet flats here. It can be any ballet flats. It can be any flats. You could do a sneaker. You could do a fisherman sandal. You could do a flat strappy sandal but um, just a cool pair of flats here I added a little bit of a pop of color with this shoe and notice I didn't carry the shoe the color anywhere else in the outfit I just kept it in one spot in the outfit I feel like that looks most modern um, and I love this outfit so this outfit formula I'm gonna pop up the outfit formulas on the screen so you can recreate them with pieces in your own wardrobe because often it's easy to get mired in the details and say but I don't have that dress I don't have those shoes but you do have a, a, a neutral midi dress you do have a colorful pair of flat shoes or a colorful pair of shoes period and so you can sub out the items that you have in your own wardrobe for the items that I'm showing here Okay, this is definitely more of a fall outfit. You can do this in a, obviously in a, in a more uh, spring or summer version by just switching out the sweater for a, a silky blouse or a tee or a top of any kind. But it's really a monochrome look and it's in, in light neutral. So we often, when we think of monochromatic looks, often we think of black, like head to toe black. A monochromatic look does not need to be head to toe black. Monochromatic just means one color. So it can be any color. It doesn't even have to be neutral. But in this case, I chose like a rich, luxurious light colored neutral palette because again it's going to have that old money quite luxury look it to me it, it definitely gives a, a european look but also it's just so elegant so elegant so elegant and again you can make this out your own you can sub pieces that you've got in your own wardrobe for these pieces but this is a really luxurious and yummy looking um, cream sweater worn with um, camel linen pants or camel trousers and then um, a, a brown kind of crescent shaped sort of hobo bag, a little pair of gold hoops, and then a pair of square toe um, ballet flats. I believe these are from Vince Camuto, but again, everything's gonna be linked below. So you've got tone on tone on tone. So different shades of beiges and browns, you do not have to have the same color and you do not have to have the same texture. What makes this outfit interesting and not boring and not flat and not matronly is that the combination of colors and textures keeps it modern and keeps it um, keeps it chic. But if you had all the colors exactly the same and all the fabrics exactly the same, that could look 
a little bit dated or could look a little bit flat, could look a little bit boring. Not always, but it can. So um, don't be afraid to mix and match neutrals in the same family. Then you're going for a, even more than monochromatic, it's more of a tonal look, which is very, very chic. Okay, the next outfit, this is one directly inspired by I saw multitudes of this look in Europe and I just kind of wanted to show you what this outfit could look like. So this is a striped oversized blue and white button down shirt. Now I saw it worn um, like open over a tank or a cami and then I also saw it worn buttoned up as a tunic. So those of you who really love tunics and are having a hard time letting go of tunics, I would say, I've, I've said, said it before, a tunic can just be a long version of a regular top and not a top that's designed to just be a tunic. In other words, stay away from the crazy flouncy printed tunics and go for a long button down top like this and you can't go wrong. This is from a, a French brand called Figure. Um, it's a very cool, just a slouchy oversized tunic. Old Navy has a top like this right now. Everybody has a version of a, a long um, oversized button down right now. It's a big thing happening. Now again, you can wear it buttoned up like I'm showing here or you can wear it unbuttoned and layered over a tank or something else. Um, I'm showing it with the Avenue Monta Montagna um, Leo pants. These are a cropped a flare pant um, so keep that in mind I, this this outfit formula the striped button down top and the cropped flare pant I, I saw a lot in Europe um, I don't know why specifically a striped button down and a cropped flare pant but I saw that version um, those two pieces together a lot you can do this with a pair of leggings especially faux leather leggings going into fall winter it could be a very very cool look I'm not a huge leggings person I you probably noticed that but if I'm gonna do leggings I'm gonna do a pair of faux leather other leggings um, or a pair of you know slimmer pants but this uh, this you know striped button down is just to me is very very chic and timeless and cool um, I added a pair of uh, fisherman sandals again I think these are from McGuire um, I added a cool pair of fisherman sandals um, as a you can you can do any cool interesting flat I tried to incorporate some of the accessories that I talked about in my um, European accessories video and this is one of the styles and I love it if you don't love this you can go with a ballet flat you can go with a sneaker you can go with a flat sandal those would all work in this um, I added a, a straw bag this is the Loewe straw tote because why not it's just gorgeous and elegant and timeless and definitely elevates everything you're wearing and then I threw in a scarf I believe this one is from Kate Spade but what I love about this is I think this would be really cool in the hair I'm gonna start experimenting with wearing the scarf in my hair um, I saw that a lot in Europe I love the look and let's face it there are days when um, bad hair days or you're ready for your next color appointment and learning to master a scarf in the hair is going to be um, I think a very useful skill. So that is a fun kind of casual outfit that you can recreate with pieces that you already have in your wardrobe. Now, if you've got a pair of cropped pants and an oversized button down, try this outfit combination, add your own accessories and see how that works for you. Okay, this next outfit is, this is again, another kind of European inspired. I saw, I told you a lot of short, flowier dresses. This one's from Ola Johnson. I just love this dress. Just love, love, love this dress. I believe it's actually navy. I'm not sure, but it's just a, um, a, a shorter flowy dress in this crisp cotton poplin material. So those of you who said, I don't love linen. I don't love the wrinkle of linen. It doesn't have to be linen. It's just really this crisp material and it's a woven material that you're looking for in these shorter dresses. And then um, I paired it with, because um, this dress is kind of really quite feminine and flowy. I paired it with a sporty bag for contrast. It's a sporty uh, faux leather crossbody. I think it's actually a leather crossbody from Cos that I think looked really cool with this. I added a cool pair of aviator sunglasses and then the, I think they're the Gloria sandals from Cezanne, but these are the, the Cezanne um, gold uh, heeled sandals that I showed in my accessories video. I love this combination. A dress is the most, uh, the easiest base for any outfit formula. It's just a dress. You add accessories that feel like you and you've got an outfit. So this is just a, one of a bajillion ways that you can accessorize a shorter neutral dress. Again, like I said in that other video when I talked about this piece, you want a short that's your short, right? It could be above the knee, could be at the knee, could be right at the base of the knee, but you want your version of short for this um, short flowy dress. Um, piece that I think is really just a cool thing to have in your wardrobe. The final look that I want to show you is um, a, 
a fallish version of an outfit formula I saw all over Europe, which is a pair of flowy linen pants and a slightly cropped tee. Now, cropped not in showing your belly, but cropped as in it hits at the waist so you don't have to tuck it in. So for those of you who, like me, maybe are a little bit on the short-waisted side, um, a cropped top can be a waist-length top for you. Um, and this works, I think this works really, really well. So this top is from Express. The pants are just Nordstrom's own brand. They're flowy pant. I, I chose black um, because again, we're going into fall, winter, and I wanted to show you a different version, but you could do any neutral. Um, so any two neutrals together of a cropped um, or waist length tee and a flowy pair of linen pants is going to be a fabulous option. I threw on this boyfriend blazer. Again, I'm trying to transition this into fall winter, but you could do a denim jacket. You could do a jacket of any any uh, any style at all um, as a completer piece, or you could skip the completer piece. I like this blazer look. I personally would have a very hard time wearing this blazer over wide leg linen pants. You have to be taller, in my opinion, to pull that off. You, the waist has to be defined for a longer bla blazer or longer jacket to work. Like I said, with a trench coat, the waist has to be defined. So if the waist was defined in this, I might be able to pull it off. Um, if you're looking for a slouchy blazer, there's a woman who shared one in, in my Facebook group, group, group recently. Of course, you need to make sure that the shoulders are um, hitting in the right spot and the sleeve hits in the right spot. And then, you, and then you've got that length that your fashion fit formula length, and that can be something that can work even on us as petites. But this is gonna be, uh, you're gonna wanna play with the jacket that you're adding to this outfit formula. But I've got three neutrals here, right? I've got a neutral, a, a medium neutral in the jacket, light neutral on the top, dark neutral on the pants. And so that combination of neutrals really creates an elegant look. Um, and then got another neutral with the bag. This is a braided leather bag that I think is very, very elegant. I believe this is from Aunt Other Stories, um, but again, everything's gonna be linked below and I just absolutely love it. And then I have a pair of clogs, which are a cool um, sandal, uh, a cool shoe option that you can wear now and you can wear through fall and winter, um, depending on your climate. So I love this. You've got three neutral pieces accessorized with a cool braided leather bag and then a great pair of clogs. So these are all items that you're likely to have a version of in your own wardrobe and if not these are items that maybe you should add to your um i had the 11 european wardrobe essentials these are items that were on those wardrobe essentials lists and um so if you're looking to update your wardrobe for for fall winter um these are items you might want to consider bringing into your wardrobe and and trying to see different ways that you can style it by adding your own accessories and infusing them with your own personal style so i hope that you enjoyed this video i kept it a little shorter these are age defying outfits that are going to work no matter what your 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 age is no matter what your lifestyle is you can find a version of this no matter what your personal style is it's all about taking these outfit formulas plugging in items you already own from your own wardrobe adding your own accessories that that speak to your personal style and um, bringing them all together into an outfit that looks and feels like you. So I hope that you enjoyed this. If you want to see more age-defying outfit formulas, let me know in the comments. Always love hearing from you. Um, if you want to check out my Ageless Style Confidence Club, I definitely recommend it. I'm going to pop the link up here. Um, like I said, it is the most supportive way to, to work on your style in a community, and it's also really, really affordable. So would love to have you join us. Um, don't forget to like this video if you liked it. That means so much to me. And and subscribe if you haven't already so we can continue to hang out more. Love you guys. See you in the next video.